hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now I don't generally like to start off content with bad news. Um, fortunately this week we lost one of the Morelander family, our youngest whippet, Stanley. Um, was laid to rest on Monday. Um, I'm out here with Norman today, so if you see me looking around I'm just trying to make sure that he's not into any trouble. Um, yeah, so it was it was a very quick um, illness and we made the decision on Monday. It was all about quality of life. Um, so yeah. Now, I wanted to do something to kind of honour Stanley in, I guess, the only way that I, I, I could do with something like this. Um, Stanley was a completely black whippet. He was my wee black beauty, honestly. A um, little bit of white on his chest and, and, and around his feet, but he was pretty much jet black. Very hard to see in the dark. Um, and I thought, why not do an all black EDC in memory of Stanley? Um, yeah, I'll miss you, little dude. So, um, let's let's get straight into it with my all black EDC. Now, actually, starting with it, the, the first ones, the, the, I'm carrying a few of them. So the first one is on my face at the moment. So these are my Hawkers. Um, Hawkers are a, a European brand. They make very nice glasses. Now, the, the big difference with these is that the vast majority of them, and weirdly, so this is the one pair that do have does have um, some metal on them, but generally, I'd say probably, I mean, this is just a pure guess, I'd say probably 70% of their line are just completely made from plastic. So the, the, the arms, if they get pushed too much, they'll, they'll just pop off and then you can pop them back on again. Um, these have um, just a screw that's in there, but uh, I think in the entire time, I've probably had these about five years now. Um, never had any issues with them and the screw has certainly never come undone. Um, so yeah, do you know, I'd like to say that I, I wear some really expensive, kind of really nice glasses, but I find with Hawkers, they're very reasonably priced. The vast majority of them range from maybe, say, 30 to 40 euros. There are some more expensive ones. Um, but they have polarised lenses on them, the vast majority have polarised lenses on them. And I think in the five years that I've had these, I've not had any issues and I've dropped them. Yeah, I've lost them, then found them again, and yeah, hawkers. So there you go. Uh, the next one I I have here as well. So really proud to show this one off. This is from this is the rhombus from JS Designs. JS Designs is a small single man company um, in the Ukraine. Now, obviously, world events. You know that there's a lot of a lot of bad stuff going on in Ukraine at the moment, so it's great to be able to shed some light on some absolutely top tier um, craftsmanship coming from that country. Um, so the rhombus is designed as, hopefully as you can see, as a, as a sling bag that you can just pull round. Um, the quality of the stitching on this, the quality of the materials, top notch. You got the um, YKK zippers, aqua guards here across the top. These need to be a little bit smoother, which we'll, which we'll have a look at in a second. Um, he even has his own, I'll, I'll take a photo of this. He even has his own little um, pull tabs, which are really nice. They come with all black ones, uh, but was included with these two orange version, orange ones. So it's easier for me to know I need to pull these to, to be able to open things. It is designed to be a left hand carry, so um, although I'm right handed, I, I, I carry things on my left side. Um, and it's designed purposely for a reason, and that is that when you open this up, there's actually a little pull tab. So if I just pop that up for a second, and then pull that up. So this pull tab here has got a magnet in it, and it's also got some of this. Um, Hyperlon material, very nice. Uh, and then there's a magnet in there, so on the opposite side there's another magnet and it'll just stay there, it won't, you know, it won't do anything. But should you need it, you can pull this round, grab the pull tab, yank down on it and all of my stuff's just come out. And on the inside, if you need to use this for CCW, you have instant access to your firearm. There is a, a firearm, um, one of these, just the kind of the, the, the quick loops, which, which will just hold um, it in place. But should you need to pull it out, you can do. Um, and then there is also um, additional magazine storage through the inside. Again, you know, it's just really nice. He's thought about this loop, so if you're 
you know, you don't need to use this. There's a little piece of elastic on the front there, ample pockets for all of your EDC. And then here on the front, there are there is an additional quick access pocket, which I've hidden some of the things that I'm going to be showing you today in. Um, actually, it's gonna help me to remember what I've got in there. Um, but there's additional loops in there should you need to get anything else as well. A little morale pack section in the top. And then we're using the same high plumb material. You've got this little uh, pals webbing molly section. I'm, I, I mean, I said this at the beginning. I am genuinely proud to show this off. I've been a f good friends. We've we sp speak on uh, on social media. And when he said that he'd love to send me one, I was like, yeah, brilliant. I so yes, all of the links below, of course, you'll be able to see. And I will be doing a full review on the rhombus in the future as well. But this is my all black bag now. What I'll do is, let's turn the camera around quickly so that we can see what I have stored inside my rhombus. So as I mentioned, you know, I have packed the rhombus with bits and bobs which all constitute uh, from my EDC. Now, I will mention that I've actually not had to change a lot of this stuff. Um, obviously with this I've had to drop in a few all black items, but um, it just so happens that over the last month or so, these are the things that I've, that I've been carrying. So in the front here, um, we, uh, and again, this has actually worked out quite well because there's, there's two items from the same company. The first one being uh, this key organizer. So, really didn't get into key organizing for a long time, and I was like, I, I just don't really see the deal why people want to organize the keys. And then I got one, and I was like, yeah, I'm hooked. So, this is one of the key holders from Exeter. Um, and there's actually two things here. So the first one is the key holder. Uh, so it is a really nice loop there with your keys on the inside. And then when you want to get your keys out, you can splay your keys open. Um, I'm super minimal when it comes to keys. I have my front door key and I have my dad's key, which, you know, since he passed away at Christmas, I'm probably not gonna need that anymore. Um, but it holds, it holds two keys reasonably well you do have to put a few spaces in there but there's actually a second solution here as well which is one of these key finders um, the females of Castle Moorlander have this little game that they like to play where they like to hide my keys they say they don't play it but I know they're playing it so what this does is a little button on here, you can press the button. Actually, in this instance, if I press this button, it will it will find my mobile phone for me. Um, in fact, it'll go off if I pressed it inside my bag. But if this was lost or I couldn't find this inside my house, I can get my mobile phone, use the Android app that's on there, and then press it, and then this will let off um, like a little um, tune, tone kind of thing so that I can find my keys. In the three weeks that I've had this, I've used it an embarrassing amount. I will say that. Um, unfortunately, the Morelands females of the house are starting to get rather annoyed that I, they're, they're not getting the enjoyment from the game as well. Uh, here's my Peugeot key, a little fob that I have to uh, use to get into the studio at work. And then this, so this is from Keysmart. Now I will say you can get these in black, although this isn't black here, this is a titanium version. They do do a black version of this, um, but in this instance it's, it's not black. Next up is the Exeter card holder wallet. I recently made some content on this and it's been in my pocket ever since. Um, it's made with this really nice uh, anodized aluminium. This is the all black version. It has a nice little uh, rubber band around it which on the front holds this expander. The expander's there so that you can put in cards that you use regularly or cash or anything that you just want quick access to. Now it, it almost seems like an oxymoron talking about quick access here with this pocket mainly because the whole wallet revolves around quick access with this little switch on the side you get instant access to all of your keys and here's Norman he's even come over to say hello so you get keys you get quick quick access to all of your cards um, and then yeah really nice incredibly sexy solution um, but yes yeah, so this is the extra card holder wallet so yeah, it just so happens that yeah, I've got two extra products with me today, um, but yeah, you know, I, I genuinely have been carrying these. 
So then in the, oh actually, do you know, while I'm, while I'm reaching down, he sees this mammoth beast on his arm. So um, all black EDC watch, we have the Casio King. There are lots of other all black watches out there, but nothing compares in the bombasticness to the Casio King, it really is one of their largest watches. Now, just to give you an idea, so it's very similar to other Casio squares that are out there, and in fact, I even bought out uh, my uh, 5610U, whatever, whatever it is. Um, but here you can see, here is a normal Casio square, and here is the Casio King. And when it comes to all black watches, it is king, you know, it really is. It's all black all the way around, apart from the, the metal buckle that you have here, and it even has the negative display on there, which I'm having real difficulties trying to show you here on the camera today, mainly because we're doing top down on this, but it is a freaking beast. It's a beast! Anyway, so moving on. Also in here, so mobile phone, I think it's fair to say nowadays everybody keeps a mobile phone on them pretty much 24 seven. This is the Google Pixel 6 Pro and uh, I keep it in a Spigen case. Now I will say, um, I've, I've probably talked quite a bit about Spigen cases in the past here on the channel, but every single phone that I've had for the last 10 years, as soon as I've got it, if I've not known what the phone is before I've had it, as soon as I've got it, I'll pick up one of these cases. If I know what phone I'm getting and it's going to take a few days to get to me, I'll get onto Amazon next day delivery and have a Spigen case ready for it as soon as it arrives. Engineering on these is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and the damage, the, the drop protection on these, again, is incredibly phenomenal as well. They have them pretty much for the vast majority of large range kind of phones out there. So your iPhones, Samsungs, Pixels, Huawei, uh, Opus, yeah, you know, all of the kind of the, the large major uh, manufacturers out there, uh, they have cases for them. And they have different cases as well. So this is the, I forget what this one is. This is the uh, thin something, I probably should have checked. Um, but yeah, so they do different hybrid ones. They do ones that have like a metal bump around the side and a TPU kind of case on the inside. But as far as cases are concerned, for an all black look, you really can't go wrong with your Spigen cases. So that's my mobile phone. To keep, to make sure that my mobile phone has plenty of charge throughout the day, um, another piece that I've generally been carrying around this as, as since I've received it, this is the Nightcore Summit 10,000. So it is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery that should I need it, I can just pop it out charge my phone up and so with 10,000 milliamp hours I can charge my battery uh, charge my phone roughly two and a half times and plus this one piece super sexy super sleek carbon fiber shell on the outside with just these little kind of hints with the color Nightcore use that really nice uh, crusted kind of yellow and here on here on the top as well it just looks pretty freaking sexy if you ask me so there I have one of those. No, so I did say, so I was mentioning, so, so this being the, um, you can use this for uh, CCW. So on the inside here, you do have some loops so that you can have an extra magazine uh, and you can, you can have your firearm in there as well. But if it is that you are not using this for CCW, then you can pick up some of these additional extra little pouches. So this one fits perfectly with large things like my uh, charger here. Uh, so I can keep this against the side and I always have access to it. But if I wanted to put smaller things in here, maybe some pens, maybe a multi-tool or something, then there is another panel uh, which will fit on there as well. Uh, but for now, what I have actually been carrying um, is this. So this is one of the hub pouches uh, from Alpaca Gear. I, I am a huge Alpaca fan, um, and the, the quality of the gear that they make is, is exceptional. And, you know, this is just another one of those items. So it's a small mini pouch. And I will say mini, because when you compare this maybe to a mobile phone, compared to some of the other uh, pouches that you can get, it's great, mainly because you can 100% carry this in your pocket and not have to worry, because it, it definitely is pocket-sized. 
This is made uh, from the X-Pack material as well and you have these really nice smooth pulls on there. Uh, double open so that I, you, can, you can open this right out and then here are some all black items on the inside. Quickly I'll just pull this one out so you can see this is a, uh, a little USB uh, to uh, USB type C. Uh, cable which I keep with me so that I can charge things if I want to. Um, I also keep range bands. I've said this so I made a couple of pieces of content. In fact if you don't use range bands and you don't know what range bands are have a look whichever side of the screen and I'll show you exactly because I use these a lot and I always keep them with me. There's either some in a bag or there's some in a little pouch like this but they are super useful um, for EDC things so all black range bands. I uh, have my knife in here, so this is the Civivi Baby Banter. Freaking love this knife. This is possibly one of my favouritest EDC knives from last year. The action on this, which you kind of expect from CVV, is just ridiculously butter smooth. The geometry of it as well, so the, the, the thumb stud pokes out just quite a bit past um, the, uh, the what's it pin. So being able to flick it is just so easy, although I did, there you go, that's, that's what happens when you say things um, on, uh, on camera. Um, so, scale, uh, so the scales on this are black G10 and it is Nitro V um, blade stock and yeah, it's just awesome. This is my fidget knife, so when I'm on uh, Zoom calls or Teams calls talking to colleagues and faculty, uh, this is um, the knife that they go, can anybody hear some clicking? And I'm like, uh, no. So that is the Civivi uh, Baby Banter. In here as well, all black. When it comes to pens, you can't get sexier than the um, Fisher Space Pen. So these are the pens that went to the moon uh, on the inside. They have pressurized cartridges so that you can write underwater. You can even write, if you have a piece of paper on the ceiling, you can write on at any angle. And they have two parts, so you have the, the main part here at the top, which is the cap. It pulls off, you spin the pen round, and it turns into a full length pen. Um, not only are these ridiculously pocket friendly, but they're just very nice to write with. The, the, the gel inserts or the, the, the gel and the pressure from there just makes it a very smooth, very clean writing experience as far as pens go. I don't really talk about writing experiences a lot. Ooh, I found that the writing experience has really changed since 1972. I, wouldn't, I don't know, I wasn't alive in 1972. Uh, then last but not least, is that everything? I think that's everything. We have, and I, this this arrived this week, um, Olight had one of their sales recently and I thought, well, why don't I use my own code, Randy10, if you want 10% off. Anyway, um, so yeah, I picked up one of these. So this is the i3T EOS, which is one of their, in fact, no, I wouldn't say the smallest lights because I know that they've got at least two or three that are smaller than this. Your real kind of standard keychain lights. But I think for, an, for a regular EDC light, this is possibly one of their smallest regular EDC lights. But this one is made from carbon fiber and it is sexy as hell. It, it feels really nice as well. So I'm kind of used to touching carbon fiber, but it's almost got like a matte finish to it. I don't know how they've got that. Usually it has quite a gloss. I suppose it's the way that it's probably polished afterwards. Um, but yes, it has a matte finish to it, um, which I think helps to really pop the fibers that are in there. This one works on a single triple A battery, and I will say that the batteries last a long time with these. You have a single click for on, and it puts it into the lowest mode. Then if you turn it off and back on again, it bumps it up into the higher mode. It's just enough that you need. And I think when you have these small kind of pocket pouches um, or pocket organizers, um, the i3T and its larger i5T brother are, Possibly some of the best pocketable EDC flashlights that you can get out there. Now, the last one, I, I just realized it fell out of my bag when I, when I undid my bag over there. Um, it's a fart machine, and I've carried this on and off pretty much every day for the last year or so, especially when I've left the house. Um, if you have ever watched any of Leslie Nielsen's interviews, generally he has one of these in his pocket and it's just great. Um, 
Becoming a dad, there's, there's two things that happen when becoming a dad. Uh, I mean, you might think that I'm pretty old fashioned when I say this, but you have two roles. The first one is to provide and protect for your family. The second role is to embarrass them as much as possible. So the way that this works is, hopefully you'll see there's a small little hole there at the top. The top bit is made from a hard plastic, whereas the rest of this is made from quite a soft rubber. What you do is you put the hole against your hand and then... So, this brings me hours and hours and hours of fun, mainly because I can embarrass my children with it. It is, of course, all black, which fits in perfectly in my all black EDC carry. And I'll just finish with it. A little toot there. In fact, I think this is called the tutor. Le tutor. So there is my all black EDC and as usual I'll leave a link below so that you can see everything that we've had a look at today. In fact, oh, talking about links below, here's Norman. Um, yes, he's been kind of wandering around today trying to find his brother but I thought I'd bring him out so that he at least got some company. Um, so yeah, say hello stinks. Or don't, that's fine. He gets a bit camera shy. Um, so yes, links below to everything. I'll leave some of my social media links below as well. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. Shoot, hi. I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Now, I, I never like to start content off with a piece of bad news, but... Uh, oh, God, it's warm. Managed to do that without getting my belly out. How you doing, fat lad? So there we have my all black EDC. Norman's little brother Stanley is unfortunately no longer with us, but as you probably all know, as uh, as, as dog owners, they never leave you. Um, so yes, so this is. Do you know, little dude?